So I just want to point out, uh, you know, Stephen A. Smith had been ridiculing Kyrie Irving for not getting the vaccine. Um, I've taken the softer stance on people not getting the vaccine. I do believe it's your choice if you want it, if you don't. However, Stephen A. Smith, you did not call out Aaron Rodgers. And um, it seems as if you, you, you seem to have a little more dislike or disdain uh, for your own kind, which is quite troubling to me. It, it seems to be quite puzzling. But as a black man myself, I'm coming to the realization that this is more about jealousy from you. This is more about you actually wanting to be in the NBA and be a player. But you've made a, a very significant and uh, insane career of being in the peanut gallery and uh, just giving your opinion. The only thing I would ask is if you, you, you have to hold these players to the same standard regardless of color. And for that man to lie on television to say that uh, he got the vaccine when, in fact, he did not get the vaccine and lied to his teammates and lied to his coaches and lied to his whole organization. Uh, for you not to have the same uh, vitriol and the same meanness that you had towards Kyrie, it's a total injustice. It's just a total injustice. Because now when you direct that anger to brothers, I only see you being somewhat jealous and wanting to be in their shoes. Now, the only way if you saw this video you could respond to this is say, yes, I do secretly want to be an NBA player and I'm jealous. But that would be the only way. Because I don't I don't I don't understand, man. I don't understand. It took you days to respond to uh what this guy did. And it took Jay Williams to come out and, and really direct that towards you uh, before you said something about Aaron Rodgers. So, Stephen, you need to call me because I just don't feel right. You know, I always feel some kind of way because of that hairline. Guys like you that just don't let the hair go, look, brother, come on. It's not that bad. But when you sitting with your joint, back there and just yo I can't believe this what are you doing who do you think you bro come on cut it all off take your razor cut it off cause either your face is getting bigger or your hair your whole head of hair is getting smaller and you confusing us on camera but you got to stop cracking this whip on brother's backs man now, I know Colin Kaepernick compared the NFL to slavery. Um, but right now, brother, you are looking like a definite overseer, uh, uh, like master's overseer, or a possible, if any of you guys have seen Django, you're definitely looking like Samuel L. Jackson right now in Django. Yes, sir, boss. So, call me, Stephen. I'll talk to you later.